Yes, greeting to everyone. I am the wiser food improviser and I from Grenada. Let me take a seat. And I can I come here today to talk about the Caribbean. The mistake all you make in the Caribbean and the mistake all you continue making in the Caribbean. Grenada, you're not independent. Stop the foolishness about celebration and all these celebrating independent. You're dependent. You're not independent. Why it is that all you give away everything? I come to talk to the Caribbean about the land and the sea. My grandfather was an independent man because he never worked for no one and he had a lot of land. We never buy fruits. All my grandparents used to do is go to the market to buy the normal thing. Yeah. Now, let me talk about the sea, but let me take a step first. How about tea? When we were growing up, well, so the older people say, when we were younger, we could have gone and fish anyway. There was fishes all over the place. You know, we never buy fish. Just as I told you, we never buy fruits. We never buy fishes. No type of fishes. In, in five minutes, we got lots of fish everywhere. Calais, Belmont, Guave, Grenville, Woburn, everywhere there was fishes. Calais the full up of fishes. Belmont the full up of fishes. Granite's the full up of fishes. Anywhere, just go and fish. Today, you people sell out all the lands. No, is that good man? The lands of the land. And the bottom side, it has short man, Mr. Fitz and Babylus, my grandfather Amos, Hobart, and Eric. They men never had a job. And Mr. Mark, I will put Mr. Mark in there. And then he had two men on the top side. That was my grandfather brother that called Mr. Harvey. And you know another man? Paris, another bad boy. These men never had a job. So if these men was alive and see that there is no land working, them men will fall down and dead. You understand what I'm saying? So now that's what I'm saying. Now I come to Belmont too, you know. And now I, I born in Belmont, grew up in Calais. I come from Granans. I'm from everywhere. But Calais is the bad boys we used to live. And then Belmont. I come into Belmont, yeah. Belmont is very interesting too. So hear that. Yes, let me come up, let me come up Belmont now. Belmont, I go call Belmont people the tigers of the land. You know, Jobin. I go into Jobin first. No boy, Bell, Hugh Miller. Uh huh. Um, Papa Joe had a lot up in St. Paul's too. Mr. Bell. Uh, who again? Hey, PC the bad boy. You know, even love what a thing going on so. You know, who again? Who again? Hey, Mammy Faith and all. Mommy Faith, you know, the ladies and all used to work land. Well, Mommy Dreams, you know, the family, you know, you know, everybody used to work land. But everybody in Belmont, most of them was fishermen and land workers. You see what I'm saying? So check this out. Nobody used to waste time. You see? So if all these people then now know that there's no land working, well, some of us are alive and we see it before we die. And we know it's not a lie. Now, if I, if I was the Prime Minister of Grenada, the first thing I do was all them hotels there on the beach, I break them down. Plant back the coconut trees. You see what I'm saying? And no frozen food coming into the island. You see, because there's no land for the people now who have all these animals, you know, for, you know, like how my grandparents and all the people have lots of goats and sheep and things, right? That is the kind of meat people used to eat. Fresh meat, you understand? Yeah. No blood, they drain the blood out. So all them food there can come to the island. I'm breaking the hotels down, and all them food there have to stop being imported. Yo, I found some bad man boy, a bad man in Calais, Mason, that Vince Barade boy, they come in and lick up for short, the king of Milan, and then two other bad men, to Mr. Tony Fork Rider and Manu Cox and how could I forget Walter the taxi driver but let me tell you if all you hear all your name don't be ashamed all you in the game because famine was a thing it was no dingaling you know nothing so my dear people this is what I'm talking about land it was the land 
You see what I'm saying? The land was the Dan. My dear people, try to understand. Go back to the land. You hear what they can? They can say, walk the land. Now, I'm going to drink a cup of tea. And I'm going to go to the bed very soon. So, I want to see, send us a special greeting to Mr. Hagley in Mondelez, Wester Hall. That is the oldest farmer alive. And to all the rest of farmers who is young and still alive. Greetings. I love you all.